morning, everybody. Are you all happy today? I want to see your smiling face. Good morning and happy Sabbath to each one of you. What a blessing it is to be in the presence of the Lord and praise His name. To receive the blessings from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And today we are going to discuss about the prayer. Six ways prayers of Jesus Christ. Six ways prayer of Jesus Christ. And always find so many times, can I pray? If I pray, will God answer to my prayer? God is ready to answer all our prayers. But most of the time, we don't get answered. We wonder why. But beloved, sometimes we also need to understand why my prayer is not answered all the times. We need to clearly understand. First, we should know who we are. When we understand about ourselves, our life, then we can connect with our God and then easily to understand how my prayer is not answered, why and what kind of prayer is not answered and what prayer is answered. That's what we need to know. Now we are going to see in the life of Jesus Christ, the six ways prayer of Jesus Christ. The first way, Mark chapter 1 verse 35. If you have a Bible, please turn with me to the book of Mark chapter 1 verse 35. Can you read? One of you read for me. And in the morning, and in the morning rising, up, uh, rising up, a great while before day. Okay. He went out. He went out and departed. And departed into a solitary place. It was solitary place. And he prayed. Where he went? Jesus had a time to pray. When he went? Before the dawn. Early morning. In between night and day. When it is about to get dark, Jesus had a time to pray. Have I set a time to pray? Is my time set up to pray? What time do I pray? You know, my beloved, in the Bible says, get up early in the morning. There are people who used to get up at 12 o'clock in the middle of the night and start praying to God. Is there anybody who prays like that? Early, middle of the night at 12 o'clock, between 12 to 1. You know, brother, between 12 to 1, how many people are praying? Just tense. Only tens. Few people, very rarely people get up and pray. It's only in tens. 10, 20. And we do one to two, then 50s are praying. 50 people are praying. 50. <coughs> and two to three, hundreds are praying. Hundreds are praying. Three to four, thousands are praying. Three to four, thousands are praying. Four to five, lakhs. I mean, hundreds, thousands of prayer, then million. What time have we set up to pray to God? Jesus had a time to pray. One way we need to set a time. We should have a time to pray. Second, he had a time, he had a place to pray. In the same book, we read that the book of Mark chapter 1 verse 35, he had a place to is there a place to pray in your house? Have you said any place for prayer? What place you have selected to pray? Or anywhere you just go, just pray and come back? Or you have set a place to pray? We need to set a place. You know, if you come to India side, like where I am saying, back to back to India, and there are people you know, having a separate room for making pujas, separate room for, you know, worshipping the God. And there was a separate chamber for that. How many of us have set a place for prayer? This is my place for prayer. I have to pray by being only this place. At this time, I will come and I will pray. Second. Third day. Jesus. You know, if you read the book of uh, Hebrew chapter 5 verse 7. Just take, take with me book of Hebrew chapter 5 verse 7. How Jesus prayed, let's see. Jesus prayed aloud. You know, people think that 
you know, if I pray, Satan will hear, and then you will, you know, stop my prayer. So people, you know, pray within their mouth, within their hearts, and say, I don't want to pray now. You know, testimony is volume chapter 6. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, testimony volume chapter 6 was 326 page number, I believe. It says, when earnestly we pray to God, the angel of the Lord will come down from heaven to encircle us, and the satanic host will run away and flee and stumble from us, and he will run away from us. When we pray to God earnestly, a loud prayer, most of the time, you know, we don't pray loudly. We say, why should I pray? When you open, when you pray loud, your brain is open. When you laugh, your brain is, your brain is vacant. When you pray now, your brain is alert and it will know what you are speaking. Exactly, it will reflect and it will not forget. That's what Jesus did. He prayed aloud. And the fourth way is Jesus, he knelt down and prayed. He knelt down and prayed. Always when we pray, we should go on knees. You want to find a peace, go on knees. If your life wants to go into pieces, don't go on this. Most of the time we don't go on this to pray. Because we say, oh, I have a pain. I have a knee pain. I don't want to pray. But you know, Jesus is expecting us to go on knees to pray. He taught us how to pray. He knelt down and he prayed. When he was praying in the garden of Gethsemane, he knelt down and he prayed. God answered. What happened? Sweating was coming. In the form of what? Blood. How many of you are getting sweat when you pray? How many of us are getting sweat when we pray? How many of us are really, you know, we get tears in our eyes when we pray? Jesus taught us to pray like this. And also, Jesus prayed the fifth way. He prayed by name. He's telling to Peter, Peter, Satan asked permission to, you know, disturb you. And I told him, I gave him permission and I'm going to pray for you. Satan asked permission to pray, I mean, to disturb you. And I said, okay, I gave permission to him because Christ was praying for Simon. Why? Why Satan asked Jesus permission for Simon, leaving all the loving disciples? Satan knew the ability the potentiality, the capability of Simon. Because of this man, world could come upside down. Same way, when Jesus is praying for us, he is calling us by name and telling us to pray for the people. He knew how strong we are and he will try to put us down. That's why he's getting permission. Like how he asked permission for Job. He's also asking permission for each one of us. We need to understand that. Satan would ask permission for each one of us. If you don't know the value and the potentiality of yours, just try to understand so that you will not know, so that you will not go away, you will not go astray from God. Beloved, Jesus taught us to pray by name, by name. You pray for your brothers, pray for your sister, pray for your mother, pray for your father, pray for your husband, pray for your wife, pray for everybody, pray for the world, pray for, you know, people who are living in that. Die in darkness world. Pray for so many people who don't know about the truth, who don't know about the gospel, who don't know about Jesus Christ. Pray. That's why God is telling you pray name by name. Jesus went into group. He went with the group and he prayed. He called Peter, John, and James, and he went with them and he prayed. He went as a group and he prayed. Six ways of prayer. Jesus Christ taught us how to pray. He had a time to pray. He had a place to pray. He prayed loud. He prayed aloud. He prayed name by name. He knelt down and he prayed. At last, he prayed with the group. What kind of a prayer are we offering? Last week we prayed. We had a miracle prayer session. And today also we are going to pray and we are going to see miracle. Today I see you know, some of them were not in the last week. It is a miracle because we are praying for the growth of this church. The Lord definitely will 
bring growth into this church. People will grow, church will grow spiritually. We will grow mentally, physically. The Lord will make us to grow. God will bring great growth in our lives. So I'm going to pray. If you have any uh, prayer request, can you tell me? If you're going to pray, I'm going to pray for you. And one of us also will, you know, two or three also will pray today. Two of us or three of us will pray today. You tell me. Yeah, please. Okay. Unspoken prayer. Okay. Tell me. My friend Marty is very sick. Okay. She has a growth in her throat and they are operated and they are, um, the doctors are deciding okay. what kind of treatment she needs to have. Okay. And I also um, have another request. We should pray for this young man. Okay. And last night I went for a vesper and we were singing after seeing the preacher's feet. Uh, this young man was making rounds all around the sanctuary, mm -hmm. rounds and in the aisles he was making rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, he was there before everybody, mm -hmm. anybody. And at the end, we, we sang the song that our uh, the song uh, uh, Charlie Gather and the And then after the song, the, uh, the, the song leader was saying that. Um, we are, how many of, you, of us are expecting for the day? Mm. How many of us are um, anxious to uh, reach that day? And he, he stood up and he was saying, what day are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And uh, some uh, leaders said, some leaders said, um, the day of God's return. Mm -hmm. And the pianist said that we are waiting for second time. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm here. I am Messiah. Mm -hmm. I am Jesus Christ. Oh. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm, that, those days I'm here. I'm ready. So we should pray for the Okay. Yeah. We'll pray for Monty. Yeah. yeah. We'll pray for Monty. Yes. Um, Nelson. Nelson. Uh, I guess we pray for Nelson. Nelson is my youngest son. Okay. And uh, I want to thank my father for it. Improving Nelson's maturity. I would like to pray for his kind of increased growth in his maturity. And then she desires on um, the um, Okay. Well, the prayer for Nelson. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Okay. We'll pray for her. You know, Nestor, for this book of growth. That education. Okay. My son wants to. Okay, so I'm still, still looking for the job. And we'll pray, we'll pray for him. Mm, yeah. Okay, we'll pray for Mr. Jyoti. I have an interview coming up. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we'll pray for an interview this, uh, this week, you know, this coming week. And we'll all remember, beloved, there is a power in prayer. A king died. And nobody was there again to rule down in his family. Only the small world was left out with eight years old. Didn't know what to do in that country. And immediately, the government decided to appoint her as a queen to the country. And the eight-year-old girl was lifted up by his uncle. She was about to set into the throne. When she went near, and she said, uncle, drop me down. And she asked her uncle to drop her down. And she dropped, she was dropped down. She knelt down before the throne and she prayed, Lord, this is your throne. You sit on this throne and I will sit on your lap. You will leave this country. You know who is that woman? It's none other than Queen Elizabeth. When she was eight years old, she was set into the throne as a queen. And now she is 93 years old. Still she is alive. God blessed her because of prayer. The power of prayer is great. Eight years ago, was set as queen in the throne. But 93 years now, she's still alive. A statue already has set there, and there is a bird which has cost about 4,100 crores worth kept behind. It's called Kohinoor bird. 
in remembrance of her. I tell you, beloved, prayer is a great, powerful instrument that it can fit everything. So prayer brings victory. Let us go on this and pray. I request, uh, brother, can you come forward and pray for this request? All the supplications. Brother, we sit in the front. You. Okay. Come, Pastor Jeffrey. Shall we all go on this to pray? Shall we kneel down to pray? Let's seek the Lord in prayer. Gracious God in heaven, we lift our heads unto the heaven from where the help comes from. The help comes from the Redeemer, the Sustainer, the Creator. What a thank you, Jesus, for this hour of prayer. What a consecrate each one of our lives. We are mortal human beings. Many a time so far that we are unworthy because of our sins. But thank you for Jesus Christ and his blood that will cleanse us from all unrighteousness and we may clean. We are here in the sanctuary. Lord of heaven, may your mercy endure in our lives. I want to pray for every individual we bow down before the third place this morning. May your mercy endure, giving them an opportunity to taste and see that the Lord is good. As we kneel down before the throne of grace, I know that you know every individual's heart. You are answering every individual's prayer because of Father, you are merciful. Lord, I want to pray for Sister Jyoti and a lovely children and a lovely family. She has put forth, oh Father, and I believe you, that her heart desires in Christ for her children and her family might be eased, giving her an opportunity once again to have a closer walk with Jesus. I want to thank you for the other sister who requested for prayer. Oh Father, whatever the may be some and problems they might be able to face, oh Father, may the name close to hand of Christ be able to touch the healing physically, spiritually, mentally. Yes, Lord. I want to pray for the people of Kerala who have been drowning, O oh Father, with flooding waters. They need your mercies. They need your love. May you bless them. Lift them, O oh Father. Give them your righteous right hand so that they might have an opportunity to live and to glorify your name. I want to pray for the unspoken requests, O oh Father, before we move forward. O Lord of heaven, whatever the heart desires is, and I believe the Lord will be able to fulfill their heart desires, Father, according to their plan and purpose. I want to pray for the whole side community church, O oh Father. We need the unction of your Holy Spirit. So that, O oh Father, we might be blessed in the be oppressed to many people and many more souls might be able to wrong to your kingdom. If I want any request, O oh Father, which you have all, please do forgive me. But I believe even Unspoken, unsaid with us, I mean answered because you are the one who knows every individual's heart. The one coming with Jacob and his lovely brother and the family members to a kid as they're here for a mission. And I hope you're going to use them mightily with the devotion of the spirit. May God be your name. Kind of look around your voices, as we get to the second part of the program, may your presence go with us. May you be able to be encouraged, led by your spirit. And if it's your will, we will be able to taste and see that the Lord is good and sweet and then I will tell that every person is going to be true. In Jesus' name I pray. 